once in a lifetime comet is rapidly approaching its closest proximity to Earth and it will reach its brightest point in early February. The green comet was last in orbit 50,000 years ago and after its orbit close to Earth, it likely won't come back into orbit for several million years. So here's what you need to know if you want to try and see it. See the comet rather that is between now and February 1st. First things first, you need to get away from city lights. The darker the better. And while you may be able to see the comet from the naked eye if conditions are just right, your best chance to see it is through binoculars or a telescope. The comet will be competing with the moon's brightness, so look up after the moon has set, which means after midnight. And its location in the sky will vary, so you should check a sky chart to see which direction to look in. We have one on our WUSA 9 app and WUSA9.com. Just search Green Comet. And if you're wondering why it's called the Green Comet. I spoke to an astronomer from the University of Maryland to find out. It's emitting a diatomic carbon molecule that emits green light when it's when the sun illuminates it. And so it's gotten this name that it's the Green Comet. So it's a it's somewhat unique in that respect. It's not uncommon in comets, but this one is particularly green. And the name Green Comet rolls off the tongue a little better than the comet's official name, which is 2022 E3ZTF. I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath, WUSA 9.